Hey, hello guys. Welcome to Learn Eternity, a platform to learn anything, anytime. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use font or some icon in Bootstrap. Uh, so the font or some icon is a CSS file available in order to work with the icon in Bootstrap. In the last tutorial, we have already worked with the belief icon in Bootstrap. And in this tutorial, we are going to focus on font awesome icon in bootstrap so why we should use a font awesome icon uh, instead of using a glyph icon if you want a reason is that the font awesome icon provide large amount of libraries that is it provides a large amount of icon that can be uh, used inside your website and that fulfill your requirements okay so if you go ahead on font or some website and search for any icon there is a chances that you will get the necessary icon that you want okay so they have an official website for a font or some icon so let me show you uh, that before that let me tell you that these are the thing that we are going to cover inside the font or some icon okay so let me go to the font awesome icon website so i'm just typing here font awesome icons if you go to the first link then they have uh, this uh, pretty much a well documented website with this font awesome icon libraries okay there are a couple of uh, icons they have av available inside the font awesome okay so just go ahead and look at uh, whatever icon that you want they also provided a search bar in order to search any specific icon that you want okay uh, there are a couple of way of including a font or some icon inside your website so there are two ways so either you can download a font or some files from their website or you can use a cdn so if you go to the get started and you go to the download section you have this download button just click on that it will give you a zip file and the font or some dot main dot css file so in order to do that you just have to use this bit of code in order to link that font or some dot main dot css and then you can use the font or some icon the second way is using a cdn so the preferable way for using a font or some icon is using a CDN. Okay, so just go ahead on Google and search for font or some icon CDN. So this is the first link that you can click on and just copy the CDN link of all the font or some icon. So let me copy this and I have created this file with the link of Bootstrap. I will link the JavaScript of Bootstrap and jQuery as well. Okay, so let me link the font awesome icon file. In order to link, you have to type the link relation equal to style sheet and type is equal to text slash CSS. In, in HREF, you have to paste the link that you have copied, that is a CDN link. Okay, so once you do that, you are finally set up with the using of font awesome icon. So the first step that we are going to learn is basic font. Okay. So the in the basic font, how we can integrate the font as an icon that we are going to learn. Okay. So in order to use a font or some icon, we can use a span or italic tag. Okay. So I am creating a span tag and assigning a class of FA that is a font awesome. So this is a primary class that you have to use with the font awesome and then you have to use an icon that you want to integrate with okay so i'm just going to the font or some icon website and just click on icons and there are a couple of icons that uh, we have so if i'm searching for a trash then you can see here we have a trash on the click on that icon you will get the code for using this so they have applied this FA and FA trash in order to work with this icon. So let me go ahead and use this FA trash. 
okay so just go ahead and save this file and go ahead and refresh so as you can see the fa fa crash icon is get display over here so either you can use this with the span or you can use this with the italic tag so let me go ahead and change the span to italic and save the document and refresh so as you can see we have we can use a this pen or we can use a italic or uh, the font person can icon can be used with the button and anchor tag also so let me create one button with the text of delete and i'm just providing a class in order to display button as a primary okay so in order to use the font or some icon just go ahead and copy this pan inside that button okay so once you do that just go ahead and refresh so as you can see you can use the font or some icon with the button another thing that you can do is you can use the font or some icon with the anchor tag so you just have to copy this bit of code okay and instead of using a button we can use here or anchor tag and of course you have to end this anchor tag the attribute needed for anchor tag is href that you have to include and once you do that just go ahead and refresh so as you can see you can use either the button or you can use a anchor tag so this is all about the basic icon functionality okay the next thing that we are going to learn in this tutorial is how we can use and change the sizing of the icon so there are a couple of icon size available in the font awesome so let me go ahead and work with the font awesome icon so i'm just going and copying this button over here okay instead of using that button let me use this pan okay so we will focus on just uh, icon so let me change this to cloud okay so let me check whether that icon is available yeah that icon is available so in order to change the font or some icon size we have five classes okay so the first classes that we can use is FALG in order to make it large so go ahead and refresh so as you can see the font or some gate larger then we have a classes that is called as a fa2x 3x 4x and 5x okay so we can change this to 2x change this to 3x change this to 4x and change this to 5x so once you do that just go ahead and refresh so as you can see there are there are a couple of uh, ways of um, in which you can use and change the size of the icon okay so that's it about the icon sizing the next th uh, thing that we can use is a fixed icon so in order to do that just go ahead and copy this bit of code and instead of using fa5x or any other we can use fw in order to use a font or some with the fixed size okay so just go ahead and refresh so that is a font or some fixed size okay uh, the next thing that we are going to learn is the list icon so list icon can be used with the help of a ul tag and inside that you have to create a li tag okay so i'm just using a fi uh, li tag and just let me go ahead and copy this couple of time so in order to use a list icon you just have to pass the class of fa dash ul inside the ul tag so once you pass that you just have to also pass the class of fa dash li in order to work with li tag okay and uh, this class you have to include inside the span that you want to work with okay so I'm just including this in a span okay and again you have to use the FA class first okay and then you have to use FA dash the font or some icon that you want to use 
so let me go ahead and uh, grab one icon so there is an icon called camera over here so i'm using this camera okay so let me go ahead and copy this pan to this ally and also let me go ahead and give this a name as camera let me change this icon to save let me change this icon to check and change this icon to uh, something called as a what you can say bank okay so let me change this to bank okay and i just have to include the text that i want to use okay just so save check bank and so on so once you do that just go ahead and refresh so as you can see this is a list of icon that you have provided okay so this is all about the list icon the next thing that we are going to learn is the animated icon so in order to use an animated icon we have we have a couple of icon in the animated section so if you go ahead and scroll down you can see here you have an icon which is based on animated so let me go ahead and check whether they have listed over here okay so they have this spinner icon that we can use in order to work with the animation okay so let me go ahead and copy this icon Cody okay and change this FA remove this FA ally and change this FA to FA spinner and in order to make that uh, font or some icon uh, what you can say animation you have to use FA spin so just go ahead and save that file and go ahead and refresh so as you can see this animation is in progress okay in order to make that larger you can use fa-3x or a larger so just go ahead and refresh so as you can see we have animated icon so we have this couple of icons and let me change uh, copy this and use this icons so we have a spinner then we have a refresh then we have a couple of icons such as cog gear so um, let me use the cog one let me use the appetite gear and just go ahead and refresh so as you can see we have a couple of icons that we can use in phone or some okay so depending on your requirement just go ahead and grab this and you can use or use it as your font or some icon the next thing that we are going to learn is the rotation and flipped in font or some icon okay so if you go ahead and copy this camera icon okay while working with the rotation of the icon when you place this icon as a normal it will be display as a normal icon so let me go ahead and refresh so as you can see this is a normal icon let me go ahead and change the size so you can see so here we go so we have this icon so in order to rotate that icon you just have 90% uh, you just have to provide a class that is called as a fa dash rotate dash 90 so it will go ahead and rotate the rotate it 90 okay if you wanted to rotate it 270 or 180 then you have to change this to 180 and as per your requirement you also rotate this to the degree of 270 okay so let's me let make it save and refresh so as you can see it is now rotated you can also flip the icon horizontally or vertically okay so in order to flip the icon you have to use fa dash flip dash horizontal 
and you can also use the icon as fa dash flip dash vertical okay so once you do that just go ahead and save so as you can see the icon is now flipped so this is all about work now working with the rotation and flip in the bootstrap once you do that just let me go ahead and remove this that we have already learned about the icon sizing the next thing that we are going to learn is called as the stack icon and that is will be a last portion because we have already worked with the animated icon so the stacked icon so in order to work with the stack icon so what do you mean by stack icon is that in, in some cases that you want you have to make sure that one icon is placed inside on side to the uh, another icon so in that case we can use a stacked icon so in order to do that you just have to create one span with a class of fe stack and if you want to uh, make it large you can make it large with flg and inside that you have to pass two icon that you want to stack so i'm just creating one icon with the span and processing it to a class of fa fa dash square dash o uh, o and let me give a uh, make it large with the 3x or let me make it uh, large with the fa stack dash 2x this is the stack 2x in order to make it large in case of a stack class okay so make it fa stack 2x and we have to use another icon that you want to place i'm using the fa twitter and make it the smaller so it can fit inside that 2x icon okay so just go ahead and do that and save and refresh so as you can see the uh, icon are stacked on each other another thing that we can work with is just go ahead and change the icon that is first icon to camera so as per your requirement you can do this so let me change this to camera and let me make it 1x in order to make it smaller and let me change this to uh, some called as a band that is a band symbol the camera is band so fa band and let me change this to 2x in order to make it larger okay and make it uh, larger so just go ahead and save that and refresh so as you can see we have that camera and the band symbol if, if you wanted to change the color of a font or some icon then just go ahead and type text dash danger okay so once you do that just go ahead and press so as you can see we have that stacked icon so that's it about the font or some icon and how to work with the font or some icon if you have any doubts then just comment below uh, i'm going to upload this code and all this example inside learnitternity.com so go, go ahead and watch this uh, website so thank you for watching so that's it for this tutorial hope you understand everything if you have any doubts feel free to comment below please like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned till then see ya